when when we approached like partners and we said, well, um, we are developing our own app, we are developing our marketplace, we are developing our systems, we are integrating you as a partner. And we are talking about like multinational companies, mm -hmm. um, and you, we are integrating you, uh, giving you like a new emotional sales channel. Um, of course, a lot of them were not believing us and just like laughing. Right. You were just like a, a football club, and yeah. you're not a tech company. Yeah. Uh, and in the beginning, uh, of course, we only had like the vision and PowerPoint slides. Now right. it's a lot easier because yeah. we had the proof of concept, we have the proof of concept already. Right. Everything works. But of I'm course, at the beginning, um, at the beginning, it's not that easy. You need you need to convince the partners. You you need to show them that you're not. And this was one besides other points. One of the most important uh, reasons. To, to set up an own company for that because at the beginning we started as a project and then of course um, football and sports in general is a very short term short term driven business I mean right. if you lose like 10, 10 games in a row and you're getting relegated or whatever it, and yeah. you have other problems yeah. and we realized that um, a lot of the company partners may it be from Germany but also from from the outside international partners they of course know that from other partnerships that for example if something doesn't go well projects just stop and then that's it and right. like with these digital topics um, of course they need uh, uh, upfront investments and um, the, some company partners said well um, I, we, we I mean it's a good idea um, but it's a project and if like on the sports side it doesn't go that well and um, then you probably will stop it so it doesn't make sense for us to go with you into these right. high, high sophisticated digital business models right and this of course now is, is a total different discussion because um, we, we, we set up an own company with dedicated resources that doing nothing else than software development, IoT development, right. esports, uh, data analytics. So um, these companies, uh, for them, it's now on the one hand side, we have the proof of concept, it works. And on the other hand side, it's not a, it's not a project, it's an own company that they're working with and doing their contracts with. Right. Um, a lot of trust and of course, um, uh, make, make, make it, make it makes it easier for us to do to do to create new business yeah but this was of course at the beginning a challenge to to convince the partners right. that they're right. not talking to to a 120 year old uh, football club but now to a 123 year old football club which has a tech company yeah no i mean like i, I think it's very interesting what you're touching upon here too because um obviously you know being in the startup bubble being in the startup world i, I mean like I, I i know the challenge and i think people just kind of um you know kind of expect that in a sense that well well but you're a, like a proper club you know like everyone will listen to you <laughs> you know it's and, and it's i mean like at the end of the day like it comes down to that those hard questions right and like having that proof of concept showing that it works and, and as you as you said as well like how do we you know limit the the risks that are involved with it for our partners for for understanding you know what is the overall vision of what we're trying to achieve here and i think that's a it's a very important um you know way you're you're talking about that and i guess you know we have talked a little bit about you know i guess a lot of you know digital models you're exploring and i, I guess like i want to you know guess look a little bit further ahead on, on some of your plans for the future and you mentioned some of the things that you are working on but uh, can you go a little bit more in depth i guess in some of the new digital models you're exploring to enhance the club and i guess like capitalize on that you learned over the last you know uh, three four years working on this project you know feedback from partners from from the club uh from the community what, what are some of the key things that has you know come back from the data and the insights that you learn along the way uh i think we could we could talk about that like for three hours but let, let me just try to to find right. like two, two three things um that that um illustrate it so what we see in general, and I think this doesn't only account for Germany, it probably also accounts for other countries. Um, the way partnerships in sports work from our perspective is changing. Like in the past, um, like traditional sponsoring uh, was, was enough for the partner, partner companies. They just wanted to see uh, the reach and they put their logo somewhere in the stadium or wherever on, on digital channels. And then that's it. But now um, they are more like um, analytics driven. They want to see the value add of that. Uh, they want to understand what was the return on invest that they did. And um, therefore, of course, the, the whole data that we generate, that everything what we're doing is measurable, um, helps us a lot to, to show uh, our partners or potential partners that there is a significant return on invest on, on their investment at Eintracht Frankfurt. This is one thing. 
And right. I think the, the, the value of data is, 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 is getting more and more important. I mean, of course, everyone says that, but I think yeah. it's still true. Right. Um, that, that, that is like the, the value of data analytics is getting more and more important. That's, that's one thing. Of course, an acquisition of new partners, but also on the uh, retention of old partners, because they're also seeing, uh, they also want to see what the effects of new sponsorships are. Right. Um, this is very important. What we also see that from a sustainability perspective, uh, it brings a totally new dimension to that uh, in our um, arena of Internet of Things. Mm. For example, what we did was uh, that we um, we have a very big area that uh, our stadium is like allocated uh, or located in the middle of a forest here in Frankfurt. Right. So um, uh, we brought in sensors in the soil, uh, not only on the stadium pitches and on the training pitches, but also like on the in the in the forest here around surrounding our stadium to get um, data about the how, how dry the soil is um, if it needs more water and from a from a sustainability perspective that that's very important also right. the topics that we're doing on on uh, smart energy in our stadium or smart smart facility management smart cleaning um, that you're not wasting any kind of resources maybe water maybe energy right. uh, it, it's um, it has a it has a, a higher effect on on the bottom line to to yeah. on the one hand side um, uh, reduce costs but on the other hand side to to be a sustainable club and mm -hmm. this i think is um, is getting more and more important and um, as i said the in the b2c part in the part about the platform and the systems that we developed um, as I said, everything was developed by ourselves. Um, that means that we have 100% of the intellectual property of that. Right. So what we're doing is, um, um, by the end of the year, starting white labeled sales to other clubs, um, uh, maybe in football, maybe in sports in general, maybe stadium operators, uh, and offer our software solutions that we developed here um, to other mm -hmm. clubs um, that, for example, cannot... Um, yeah, cannot the re cannot realize this upfront investment because we yeah. significant significant amount of million euros right. in the development of the systems, yeah. and of course now um, we are starting to offer these technology to other clubs, uh, which of course then uh, at the end of the day helps us to re-monetize our investment. So these are right. like the three trends, which is like on the one hand side the value of data, the yeah. um, uh, sustainability part. And the white label. I think yeah. these are three good examples. Yeah, it makes make, makes a lot of sense. I, I, I then wanted to, uh, I guess, talk a little bit about the sustainability side of things. Like just just dive a little bit more into like I guess what you uh, ways that you, you obviously you talked a little bit about like you know analyzing the soil. You know, I'll say inside the stadium and you know more 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 efficient inside the stadium operations in order to be more sustainable, but. Go a little bit more in depth into like what specific measurements I guess you guys are you know putting into place to making sure that the club is more sustainable and how I guess that process came uh, to life for you guys as 